All right, so let's uh, let's meet these two shitbirds. So we got Doctor Sykes, who's uploaded himself into the governor of this virtual world. So he's trying to upload himself into the person with all the power. Um. Yeah. And uh, then we have the imaginary mother. And I'm not quite sure. No, that's right. She's like um. No, I, I think I know who she is, but I can't rem recall the name of the person in game. So I assume I allow stream elements to access my account and use my person. <laughs> nope. So with stream elements, all you, you have to do is um, show up. That's it. Um, by showing up, you accumulate points and then you can redeem the points. It's a point system completely separate of Twitch. Um, affiliates and partners have access to the Twitch point system. I don't because I'm never going to be affiliate or partner, like by choice. Okay. Technically, I, fuf I, I fulfilled the requirements of affiliate months ago. I don't want to be affiliate. Okay. Um, but through Stream Elements, uh, they have a loyalty system that can be done separate too. You don't need a Stream Elements account. It's all Gucci. For the redeems, I mean. Oh no, for the redeems, um, you don't need an account. Um, you are assigned points by the bot that exists in my channel. And it's, it kind of just, it, it tracks data. Like, the amount of time that you spend in the chat, like it says, okay, 10 minutes have gone by, you get such and such points. Um, it doesn't track data other than that. So it's, it's good that way. It doesn't require access to your account or your data or anything like that. It's, it's just, um, yeah, it, it's a, a thing that allocates points and is linked to my stream element stuff, so... It's really good. Also, last I saw, the accidents, the accident rehappened. The accident? You might need to, you might need to. Uh... Oh, you mean from last stream? Yeah. Um. So there was like the car crash at the very beginning of the game, and then we got more context for the car crash. Um. Yeah. So um. It seems like um. It was. A forced event someone had framed him or dr sykes wanted tracy um or her consciousness no no not dr sykes it was like another person so sorry i'm getting a bit confused here so do, is there anything in here that no no so basically like the person in the wheelchair wanted this woman who was a who was a model and he's like, oh my god, he's like simping for her really hard. Like, oh, you're perfect for, for my little project. Yeah. Come come join me. And she does. And she gets uploaded into the Matrix. It's uh, kind of fucked. Um, and I think there's a thing with this child here. So, yeah. So me, right here, James. James is the uploaded consciousness of the child. John? Oh, they're calling to me. Hmm. They really want to talk to me. They want to talk to John. Okay. Today is a big day. You should be at the Infinity Plaza. They know what's up. With your father. With your father. With me. It's over, Richard. Don't you understand? <laughs> John belongs here. Dad? Yes. Daddy. It's, over. it's Daddy. Breakpoint will destroy your project. It's Daddy. Breakpoint? Let him go. Fuck him up, Richard. That was close. Maybe we should disconnect now. No, I'll take care of it. I'll head down again. Mm. Take care of the kid. Oh, wow. Okay, so... He's going down, so maybe my robot mother will take care Let of uh, my boy go. My boy. Oh, he's uploading himself. Did you see his eyeballs then? He's like fucking meh. Here. Yeah, he's oh. James. Time keep to... calm. Keep calm. Stay with me, John. Hell no. Hey, am I interrupting? Yes, you are. Charlie. We deleted him. That's Jeff. Hey Richard, how uh... his name is Jeff. Oops. Sounds as if I should yep. leave you alone. 
Jeff, call your people back. Stop this. Stop this, Jeff. Sorry, but there's nothing left to be discussed. I just sent over the last server IDs. Everything will be over in a couple of minutes. And you? You have a front seat for the apocalypse. Fuck. Be happy that you're not up here. Get up. I need a chair. Ma'am. Raymond! You're escaping! <laughs> Sorry, kid, but th this thing here, there's no future in it. I'm afraid there's no going back, Jeff. <laughs> Your body, it's here, next to the port. You're fucked, Jeff. You're at breakpoint. Maybe there is something to discuss. Amy, I'm here. What's going on over there? <laughs> Very clever, Richard. But I think I found a body. Mm. Stall him. I'll be with you in a second. Exactly, Andrew. Oh, no, Raymond. I'll be with you in a second. Oh, shit. No! <laughs> All right. He's he's gone. He downloaded himself. What? In whose body? Raymond. Hey, how's it going up there? Don't worry. Two minutes into your deliverance. Okay. Do what you want. Yeah, if I could do what you want. She also wants to escape. Let her. We'll get you quicker. <coughs> no, Lydia, don't you die. I can't go on anymore. Lydia. Lydia. Upload me. Lydia. What? Do it. Please. Fuck. We're losing too much time. <coughs> My God. My God. Oh, shit. Okay, quickly. <laughs> come on, come on. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> My God. Maybe, maybe Richard's me uploaded. No, no, let's, let's not do that. Good luck, kiddo. Camera? No. Something happened there? Almost done. Hmm. Almost done. Ding. Oh, Lydia uploaded herself into the virtual thing. What? Wait. Lydia? Lydia? Hey, I am... I'm here. Okay. Don't worry. All right, so Lydia's Girl, consciousness who is... Who are you? That's Lydia, James. That's my side piece. I'm alive. Okay. Sir? Simon, finally. Sir. I have the oh. bodies. Oh, we got Tracy and we got my, my boy. Thanks, Simon. That's like uh, super chill of you. I like the, how they just flopped them over. Yeah. Yes. Obvious script. Oh, obvious scripting is obvious. Yeah. James. This is pretty cool, though. Mom. Oh, shit. Mom is here. I couldn't leave you here alone. Oh, this Richard? is interesting. Lydia, we have the bodies. We have to get James into the chair. Come now. Go. Go to your father. I'm on command. Ready? Well, this is interesting. I'm wondering yeah. if those two women are going to fight. Wow. I think I know what's going to happen, though. James? James, my boy. He's awake. Dad? Richard's found there his boy. Are. Welcome back, James. Sit in the chair, Lydia. I'll get you out of there. We have to get Tracy into the chair. Okay. This is all happening really fast. I want mom to go. That's not your... It's... She's just a... A fragment now. Oh, I see what's happening. Don't you love her anymore? Oh, shit. James, listen. Don't you want her to live? Sir, I am afraid we're out of time. Oh. Sometimes dead is better. 
Can I can I pause it? Okay, just for a moment. Okay, so just to, to recap what's happening. Don't put the dead bodies on the dining room table. God damn it, robot. No, Simon. Like, it was super chill for you to bring the bodies here, but, like, don't drape them over my ship. So, here's the, here's the deal. Um, Tracy has uploaded her consciousness to this VR world into that uh, VR robot. But it's fragmented. It's, it's fucked. Like, her upload, something happened to it. Um... So basically the plan is, look, we've got a perfectly good body here right now. Let's put Lydia in this, uh, in this, um, meat space, um, body. But that means, like, quite literally, Tracy is, like, fully dead. And the only thing that, ex that exists of her is this fucked up consciousness within the robot lady in the VR world. So Rich is like, fuck, let's, let's, like get Lydia inside of Tracy's body. That's kind of fucking weird, don't you think? Because, like, Tracy is, like, Richard's wife. The wife he's been having troubles with. Like, and now, like, she's dead. But, like, yeah, let's put Lydia, my side piece, my mistress, inside of the body. And then, like, he's gonna... This is all kinds of fucking weird. So, Tracy's hot body, Lydia's bitchin' attitude. Sounds good to me. And the sun's been overruled. The sun's like, don't you love mommy? And Rich is like, well... Uh, you see, Dad? there's... Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, this is a moral dilemma. Tracy was here first. This is Tracy's body. Okay, so you know that um that robot nanny? That robot nanny um is Tracy's consciousness. A fucked up version of Tracy's consciousness. So something went wrong during the process of uploading consciousness to the VR world. So, basically, um, Sally, Tracy's consciousness is in the, the, the robot nanny, who is called Sally. So now we have a decision, like, does Richard, like, upload Lydia's consciousness into his old wife's body, or does he go with the fragmented consciousness of his old wife? Yeah, different name. This is a tough one. You can always sell the kid. Yeah. Sell them to the slavers. Like, they, they need, like, uh, small fingers to get the cotton out of the, uh, the, um, you know, the, the cotton wheel thing? Yeah, look, look it up on the internet. It's kind of fucked up. Ah. Uh... Damned if you do, damned if you don't. I agree, Flying. I agree. Like, she's there. But she's not. She's like, uh... In purgatory, yeah? Like, she knows that something's not wrong, uh, not right. She knows that something's weird and fucked up. And she came too. She helped the kid to get out, to break out. The kid's been downloaded back into his, his old body. Look, I'm leaning towards Lydia. I'm leaning towards Lydia. Let's fucking go. Lydia. Okay. I'm ready. This is weird and fucked up. I'm sorry, Tracy. Richard. This is unbelievable. Oh, the kid's gonna hate me for life. The city's collapsing. Damn, that was a tough choice. Fuck me. That. <laughs> like, there's no, there's no forgiving that. Oh shit, there's, there's like the, uh, the robot Adam. I mean, robot Richard. 
or rather VR brain upload Richard but he was already dead we he is he he like fully dead so now all the people in the VR world they're all dead they're fucked John who? What what? Oh. I feel bad. Adam, he's going to die. It was his decision. There's nothing we can do. Maybe we could. I could download it. To me. What? The, the whole city? The amount of data is too much. I can do it. He can fucking take you it. Could die, James. Fucking do I it. Won't allow it. He's not real, James. He doesn't exist. Adam doesn't exist? Richard, you are a fucking monster. I have to try. Go and do it, James. Him, Richard. Fucking do it. Just absorb. No one kept a backup, I know, right? Okay, now this could kill the kid. This could kill the kid. But look, we already killed, basically we already killed Mummy, yeah? Okay, so this is kind of fucked up, but you know, you know the, the kid might die. The kid might die, but then he, at least he'll have Lydia in Tracy's body and they can make another kid. I'm just saying. If it works, he's happy. Exactly. Yes. But if it does not, you get rid of the complaint, kid. That's also true. I feel like... Yeah, bingo. I feel like um, it's the only correct choice to make in that situation. You can't say, look, no, uh, I had to kill your mother so I could put my side piece in her body. And then say, no, nope, everyone has to die. I forbid you. Um, we're getting out of here. Fuck you. I'm stronger than you. Like... <laughs> you're fucking, like, sleeves throat while you're sleeping. So we're doing it. We're, we're downloading a fucking city into his brain cavity. Let's fucking go. Fine. Okay. Then try. I love you. Say it. Say the words. Simon? Simon's gonna help? Say the words, Richard. Oh, he's going back for mummy and for Adam. Why did Simon not volunteer? Because he's he's just like a robot. He's just a robot. James. He will make it, sir. James. Make it. Is everything okay? <laughs> yes, father. I can see forever. I'm now Chinese. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I think I hear voices now. <laughs> Let's go. Let go. I'm tired of this. Where? Home. Where's home? Is that it? I think that's it. Like those are two very major decisions, so we're very close to the end. We're very close. Oh, family. I guess we just watch a big cinematic. This is like, it's got a, a style. I really do enjoy like um, the, the, the graphics for this game. Controls are a little bit shit. I have very much enjoyed this game. Oh, the head tilt. What are you doing? James, what are you doing, my boy? Hmm. Hello, Lydia. Hmm. And I've got, a, I've got Simon, our robot pal. I 
wonder if he was able to save his mum. Hope so. Hmm. Mama's music box is in his mind. Okay. I love how all the background art is smooth and sharp. It, the characters are the poly, um, poly, polygonal. Yeah, it's it's. A deliberate art style choice. The whole style of this game is like... It's really interesting. Shit. And they're looking out through um, my son's eyes. So he's got all this in his head. I'm not sure if that makes him messed up or if like he's happy. So he's got a city in his head. City 5 to be precise. Achievement unlocked behind ch uh, children's eyes. Roll credits. Patchwork. I unlocked three achievements just now. We've beaten the game. I think messed up, but we will never know. Yep. It's, it's, um, I guess got different, um, achievements that could be unlocked depending on, you know, what way you choose. I'm assuming that if people are curious, they could see the different pathways on YouTube, as, as always. It was an interesting game, but I didn't really like Richard. Yeah, I thought he was a, um, not a good person. Not a good person. Um... But he was one of the more interesting characters, for sure. I did not- I didn't not like it. I might need to watch an uninterrupted playthrough, make it more like a show. This is something that I've been thinking of, um, as well. Like, um... When I stream my games in future, like, I need to kind of set up an expectation of what's going to be done. Make it a bit more, um, make it feel a bit more episodic. Do you know what I mean? Um, and that's something I need to figure out, like, the, um, the, the bigger picture of. That's, that's definitely something that needs to be pre-thought and pre-planned. But, um, just doing, like, a straight playthrough where you pick up the controller and just, you just like, D -d 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 -d, I'm playing video games. It doesn't translate well to offline viewing. Yeah, it's, it's something I'll need to look at. It was very Black Mirror-ish vibe. Oh, it has a very Black Mirror-ish vibe. A show that I've seen maybe one episode of, I've and I've heard like people talk about Black Mirror. It's kind of like a what if program, right? And they explore like certain scenarios. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I had fun. Now I need to investigate the other endings. There are four, I think. I don't doubt. Yeah, there's probably an ending for like if you get Mum. Or if you, um... So what, there, were, there were two big decisions at the very end. One was, um, okay, upload Lydia or upload Tracy. So we could have uploaded the, 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 the original mother. The birth mother. Of my boy. Um, and then we had, um... Download the city into John's head. Or James's head, I can't remember the, the name of the kid. Or make him abandon it so it, just in that sequence there the the combination of endings though that I could get that was definitely three others at least so Simon helped me though I wonder if like I kept being a um, a bastard to Simon the, the robot I wonder if he would have even helped me he probably would have or maybe he would have been like, oh, I could only find one because, like, ah, uh, you did all these bad things to me. I, I don't know. And, uh, make no mistake, this game was very much on rails. Like, it had a story to tell and you were along for the ride. Um, but yeah. So I've played, like, I want to say three games in a row where, um, I've, I've had a great time. So I played, um, Sable. 
so that was that was like that was a great game then after that i played alba a wildlife adventure that was a one and done very much like that nice calm game um i think sable of the three sable is probably the best game but in terms of like um story i think this beats is sable sable was like threadbare story but a fun game whereas this was like uh almost felt kind of like uh, the plot of a movie and visually it's it's it was pretty cool I thought that there might be like more cyberpunk themes, more dystopian themes. Like that bit where um, he and Lydia, Lydia are in Berlin airport and like breakpoint of, you know, kind of fucked everything up. I kind of wanted to see a bit more of that. Maybe a bit more gore, maybe? Uh, yeah. By the way, did you know that like i know that some people are very much against epic um store and all it stands for and drm and, and blah 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 i get that um but they do release um games every week like one or two games every week and you can like put these games onto your epic store account and you can then like through some means, I, I haven't quite investigated, but you can play those games on your Steam account. So you can link them that way. So, like, I don't know why, but Epic Store has been giving away one or two games a week for a very long time now. So, there could be something you, you might be interested in. Have a look at Epic Store. Um, I don't think, like, very, very occasionally, Steam gives away free games, but yeah yeah that's if people are interested in in um, expanding their video game library this doesn't really look like a credit screen this looks more like a bloody um eu eula a eula and user license agreement i wonder has Trav started? Like, like you, you all don't understand. Like, I can't miss this stream. <laughs> I, I, I'll be fucking banned. <laughs> like, there's, there's no two ways about it. I could not care less about DRM and all that jazz. I get on Epic every week to check for new games. No harm in grabbing them for free. That's exactly the way that I'm approaching it. I'm not going to buy games on Epic Store. Because I've got my Steam shit. But if they're giving away free shit, yeah, I'll, I'll grab it. I'll grab it. Not for another hour or so. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. In that case, um, what can we do for like the next little bit? We'll let this play, and to be honest, I'll probably just do like some Japanese study. This will probably reduce my viewership from like uh, whoever's in the, the chat now to maybe two. If uh, if my good friend Uzadu is here, he might want to watch me do some Japanese study. But I think the rest of you would be like, uh, "What the fuck? <laughs> like, I'm I'm out." What am I going to play after this? Um, to be honest, like I probably should have thought of like what I'm going to play, um, knowing that I was so close to the end of this. I could try to go for different endings, but the honestly. When I complete a game, I'm like, look, if I want to look at the different endings, I'll hop on YouTube. Um, to me, to me, this feels like the canon ending. In my head, this feels like the way it should have been. I think I did Tracy dirty. And there's no excuse for it. I did Tracy dirty. I really like Japanese culture, but now I study Chinese. Yeah. China Chinese is pretty cool. I mean it's super fucking hard. And um to be honest, I've always been a bit of a weeb, so you know, living in Japan and all that stuff. The endings look pretty much the same to me. Ah, I see. I mean there's there's like small difference. Small differences. 
I think there's only like, you know, some variations in the cinema. But in my head canon, like from start to finish, I feel like that this would... If this was a, a movie, the things that I chose, it feels like what would happen in the movie. To me. I could be wrong, though. The ending is pretty short and doesn't give much information, yeah. It does leave it a bit, like, um, up in the air. So yeah, I've played Sable, I've played Alba, A Wildlife Adventure, and now I've played State of Mind. Um, what's another one? There was, um, oh god, what was it called? Subcircular something. It's like a... I think it's a point and clickish game. Ah, oh, Detroit Beyond Human. Um, I saw Chris Smooth um, do a playthrough of that on YouTube, so I, I feel like I've 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 seen the entirety of, of the thing. So if if I watch a let's play of a game, I'm very reluctant to ever visit that game because it's like you know I've seen someone play it, so why should I play it? Like I'm all about the new experiences, you know I me. Mean? You know what I'm saying? Got you. I really enjoy the game. It was, um, I mean, obviously there are parallels with Detroit Become Human and this game, I feel. Some very strong parallels. Um, I'm not going to say which one does better. Um, but yeah, I feel like this was, like, would I say that this is derivative? I'm not sure which came out first. I wouldn't say it's derivative, it's different. It's just different. I very much liked it. Um, it, it didn't um, have the high production value of the Detroit Become Human. But, you know, I I liked it for what it was. Um, so it, was, it wasn't a long game at all. I feel like Detroit Become Human is way longer. Yeah. What's another one that I saw um, Chris Smooth do? Chris Smooth is like... Um, Pretty much the OG um, 2K YouTuber, and he's also gone into NBA commentary. He's one of the few channels that are allowed to do it. Like he's allowed to use NBA footage and do his commentary over the top. Um, he has a lot of clout, a lot of um, resources. So yeah. Yep. Point giveaway. Um, the winner will be decided at the end of May. The winner will get um, 5,000 channel points to spend on whatever they wish to spend them on in the Redeem Store. Remember, you don't need to have a Stream Elements account in order to redeem. All you need to do is to, to find that um, store page. I think I've still got it. Oops. Yeah, it's still there. So you can go there and spend your points. And it will tell you how many points you have when you try to redeem something. It will tell you if you're able to or if you're not able to. So, And I do have the ability to reject. So if you, you know, do a redeem by accident, I will like re I will reject it for you and refund your points. But like, yeah, please, please try to like be sure about what you want to redeem. But I understand mistakes are made. This is getting, like, ridiculously long. I don't know why it's so long. Like, it's talking about, like, um, the, uh... The user rights for using a particular type of font, I think it was. And now it's talking about Android? Like, I don't get it. Like, I, I don't get why the... This is in the credit scroll. To me, this feels like it doesn't need to be in the credit scroll at all. It's so weird. Um, okay. At the very beginning of the stream, I, I discussed a topic that, like, was uh, a, a bit difficult to cover. But I, I think now is a good time to talk about it again. Because there are a few other people that are now in the chat. Um, 
I became aware of a person who I um, have interacted with a lot on, on Twitch. Um, I became aware that they were involved in sending someone um, not so awesome private messages. Let's just call it that. Not so awesome private messages. And it seems like this individual has not apologized for what they've done. So I'm basically saying, look, uh, I disavow it and um, after the stream, I'm going to ban them from my stream and I'm going to let other people know what I know. And the only way forward for this particular individual, I believe, is to go direct to the person they made the DM to and to sincerely apologize to them. However, I'm not even sure that doing that um, makes up for what they did. Um, so I, I would prefer not to, to name this person Andrew, but um, no, I haven't. Not a direct DM from the person, no. Um, but I am saying right here and now, um, I completely disavow it. I believe the person, um, they said that something happened and I do believe them. In the absence of um, any evidence, I, I do trust this person. So, um, they will be getting banned from my channel. And it's a, it's a real shame because this person, um, I had nothing but, I would say, like good interactions with them. They didn't seem to be an issue, but it's now unfortunately become an issue. So, they will be getting banned from my channel. Um, I wanted to say this in a stream while I was online in public. I didn't want this to be behind the scenes. I wanted to be out there. So if this person happened to stumble upon, um, this VOD, which they may or may not, I'm not sure. Um, then they know exactly why they're getting banned from my channel. And it's a bad situation. Um, but it is what it is. It is what it is. We don't condone it. Very bad, very bad. Yeah, at the moment this this seems to be just like a text. Text Eulers. Oh, okay, sorry guys. I can apparently um, use my analog stick to kind of fly through it. Like, this is ridiculous. This whole thing is ridiculous. This is like, um, the right to use certain fonts in the game. But you don't need to be putting this in the credit roll. So yeah, like I mentioned, there was some jank in this game. This is definitely part of the jank. I would like an apology for making me watch this. And you be thy name. I am sorry for making you watch this. I, I did not know that it was going to be like this. This is the first time I've seen something like this. This... This is not polished. JPEG library? Bruh. What the hell? Our, our game contains JPEGs. This is crazy. End of copyright notice claim and licenses. Okay, okay. Oh god, it's, it's still going. Okay. Ob for, uh, Og Forbus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open AL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Looks like the game was made with complete open source software. It's It seems like it, doesn't it? It seems like it. Now do it without the smirk. <clears throat> Andrew be thy name. I... I apologize. I'm sorry for making you watch this. And if I could give you back the time that you have taken out of your day to watch this, I would give it back to you. I'm so sorry. So sorry. 
Sorry. Sorry. Looks like they're going to be in that pause to reset. Yep. Fuck me. Look at all this bullshit. SDL. You, I think you're completely right. But this was not the way to incorporate all the legalese. Like, you can have... You can have the, um, the credits. Look, honestly, there's probably an ability to, to skip all this with the touch of a button. I just, I don't want to miss anything weird. Because it's not like I'm going to play this game again. I might watch the different endings on YouTube, sure, but... Like, what is this? What is this? <laughs> has he has he got the New Zealand bed sheet yet? Hmm. After all that, after all that, it just took me back to this. I'm going to see what happens if I press continue. I think it's just going to take me back to the part of the game where we make the choices. Let me let me just check. Yeah, I think it's the last cinematic, isn't it? Okay, if I see him like standing near the the door, I mean near the window, then I'll we'll pause that and we'll cut the stream. And no, this looks a little bit different. No, no, he's there and he's staring at the the window. Yeah, okay, he's staring at the window. All right, we're done here. Logi Bantech. Bandrew. Alright.